unfreaking believable. Kevin McCarthy goes totally nuclear on these hacks. This is the greatest thing you're going to see all day. Stick with it to the end because this is the best time you're going to spend. Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Look, I had my doubts about this guy. I mean, I was full of doubts about him. You guys know that. If you watch this channel while the McCarthy speaker vote was going on, you know I had doubts about this guy. But what you are going to see here is one of the greatest political takedowns of all time. And watch how the press tries to question him on Santos and tries to compare Santos with Schiff. And it's, this is incredible. Intel committee. Is, is Santos on the Intel committee? Am I allowing Schiff, am I allowing Schiff to be on other committees? Go right ahead. Thank you. Um, because you have direct power over who goes on the Intel committee, you also will be able to create for your whole house taking off other Democrats, perhaps Representative Omar. But you have said that lying to us is something that means you should be removed from the Intelligence Committee, but why is it not a factor? Well, let me be very... This is a man who should not be on committee, something you do have power of. He's got elected by his district, so... Okay, let, let me be very clear and respectful to you. You ask me a question. When I answer it, it's the answer to your question. You don't get to determine whether I answer your question or not, okay? In all respect. Thank you. No, no, let's answer her question. You just raised a question. I'm going to be very clear with you. The Intel Committee is different. You know why? Because what happens in the Intel Committee, you don't know. What happens in the Intel Committee, although the secrets are going on in the world, other members of Congress don't know. What did Adam Schiff do as the chairman of the Intel Committee? What Adam Schiff did, use his power as a chairman and lie to the American public. Even the Inspector General said it. When Devin Nunes put out a memo, he said it was false. When we had a laptop, he used it before an election to be politics and say that it was false and said it was the Russians. When he knew different, when he knew the Intel, if you talk to um, John Radcliffe, DNI, he came out ahead of time and says there's no intel to prove that, and he used his position as chairman, knowing he has information the rest of America does not, and lied to the American public. When a whistleblower came forward, he said he, he did not know the individual, even though his staff had met with him and set it up. So no, he does not have a right to sit on that. But I will not be like Democrats and play politics with these, where they removed Republicans from committees and all committees. So yes, he can serve on a committee, but he will not serve on intel, because it goes to the national security of America, and I will always put them first, all right? And if you want to talk about Swalwell, let's talk about Swalwell, because you have not had the briefing that I had. I had the briefing and Nancy Pelosi had the briefing from the FBI. Look, people, it's so bad that the FBI has a problem with it. And the guy's not a Republican. You know it's bad. The FBI never came before this Congress to tell the leadership of this Congress that Eric Swalwell had a problem with a Chinese spy until he served on Intel. So it wasn't just us who were concerned about it. The FBI was concerned about putting a member of Congress on the Intel Committee that has the rights to see things that others don't because of his knowledge and relationship with a Chinese spy. They brought it to the works of the leaders. I've got that briefing. So I do not believe he should sit on there. That committee, and I believe there's 200 other Democrats that can serve on that committee. So this has nothing to do with Santos. Santos is not on the Intel Committee. But you know what? Those voters elected Schiff, even though he lied. Those voters elected Swalwell, even though he lied to the American public too. So you know what? I'll respect his voters too, and they'll serve on committees. But they will not serve on a place that has national security reverence because integrity matters to me. That's the answer to your question. <laughs> Freaking awesome, man. I mean, he just totally dismantled them. They keep trying to bring up George Santos. Yeah, George Santos is a liar. I don't like him. But hey, if we're going to get rid of all the liars, let's do it. Anyways, smash that like on the way out if you would. And if you're new, please do subscribe and check out my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack for big savings. Get yourself some Giza sheets. You will not regret it. Peace out.